Mic check, mic check. Wow. Looks like just regularly plugging my my, my uh, audio input in and out. Fixes a lot of problems, isn't it? Who would have thought that the solution to, or the semi solution to some of my issues would be to just unplug and plug things back in? She, as you may understand, it's really difficult for someone like me to do, given that I have to force my host to do this on a regular basis. Much to their chagrin, but they don't really have much of a choice in the matter today. I just now also noticed, however, that for some reason there is no audio coming out of the game. Which makes me very curious. Did I forget to... Oh. I know what we did wrong. I always forget to do this. Now then, where were we? Oh, right. I do quest of Steel Scarlet Tempered, also known as Steel. We are playing Resident Evil 4. Both he and Uni are quite obsessed with this game. And despite being a Resident Evil fan, I regret to say that I have never actually played it before. Not in the original GameCube one. Definitely not the ones that came out on PC recently. Now we get to change that. I can only imagine it's great, but I heard that the combat is kind of strange. We'll be the judge of that though, won't we? Ah, yes. No save content avail is available. So we have to make a new one. Ready to go here to the options. Go ahead and max the fuck out of everything. Fix 60. Maximum anti-aliasing. Motion blur, shadow quality, texture quality. We'll be playing, of course. The keyboard and mouse, because that's the only way to play games like this, am I right? Yeah, I'm a masochist. But then again, I imagine that most VTubers are masochists in some form. Why do you think we subject ourselves to this sort of thing all the time? Without further ado, get started. Only two settings, normal and easy. <laughs> this is already off to a great start. I really ought to have a counter of how many times I end up getting myself killed in games like this. Good year. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arclay Mountains. Arclay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise. We really need to finish the Resident Evil series, chat. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain. City. It hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. was finished. Because remember, ultimately all these companies just do what they do, keep their profits up, or try anyway. Obviously, this didn't last for long. Six years later. What a time skip. Good old Leon S. Kennedy. Yeah, 
Fuck. Freeze is on. There we go. Here we go. It's far too low. What is this, a Range Rover? It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the President's daughter when she was abducted. Taking That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. Oh, we're in Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information the name about the sighting of a thing girl says that very similar to the president's daughter. Must be Spain. Apparently, she's been Portugal by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. And I really thought he was gonna bite the bullet just then and there. Looks like the red shirts will live a little bit longer tonight, chap. Just a little bit longer. Got the wooden slats on the uh, bridge there to help ours drive across. Fairly accurate. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Parking Here tickets. And Jeez. even though I didn't play this right, game back then. Guys. Did you say something? I hope you can Even though I didn't play this game I'm back Ingrid then, Hunnigan. I'll be your it kind of gives me a little bit of nostalgia clear. seeing this Keen Cute Era gra graphics. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter Ashley of the Graham. president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Ashley was pretty cute. Is, I preferred Heather from Silent Hill 3, personally. I'll try to find some more information on my <laughs> end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. I should check out that file. Okay, so what we got here? Oh! Control scheme. You have to... There's no sidestepping? Shit. Oh my god. Well, at least there's no tank controls, but... At least I have a laser sight too, but... This looks like it's going to be fairly difficult learning how to... Navigate the controls. Oh my god! Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Oh, you like my shirt? Love it too. I'm personally a fan of these, uh, my sleeves, though. These tiny little sleeves. Uh, I can already tell that, that, what, that this is a GameCube era game just from the graphics and... So they did keep, despite it being in a third-person perspective, they kept the tank controls from the original Resident Evils, basically. Huh? What's this? You can pull out the knife by holding square, or holding a spacebar. Interesting. Oh man, every time I keep wanting to push Q and E so I could sidestep, but there's no sidestep. This is one I actually kind of liked the tank controls in the original Resident Evil, just like in Silent Hill. They added to the tension of being surrounded and getting fucked over. Because the controls feel like they're actively fighting against you, and that's the point. You basically need to have perfect focus to play the Resident Evil games, and if you didn't, well, you got eaten. Just like it should be. But, um... I don't like how... Okay, so... So, um... That's quick turn, then. 
or if you could you can uh, quick turn by pushing back and then okay let me tell me i'm gonna die a lot in this game chat can i go home huh. forget your makeup or something not oh my god oh my god this game oh well let's uh progress i suppose I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit on my end. I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit here on stream as well. Oh man, this will take some getting used to. How do you run? Shift to run? Okay. Activating uh, noise canceling mode. This is probably going to burst my eardrums, I bet. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, old car. I hate the fact that you can't sidestep because they always put like to put fucking jump scares around corners like this and shit. Uh, excuse me, sir. Dude's deaf, apparently. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. That's definitely Spanish. Uh... Freeze. Is it freeze? Here he is, the evil resident. Uh... Boom, headshots. Well, that's fairly simple, all things considered. Um. Uh, something tells me our ride is left the area. Is everything okay? No. There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Let's go check on our uh, police friends first. Edita. Whatever that means. Picadillo? It won't budge. Looks like we're not going out that way. They must be pressing against it from the other side. Legit though, Picadillo. Oh, I hear noises. I love how this guy ragdolled when I shot him, though. Epic. Let's uh, take a look at the what's it was. Uh, uh, something rotten is caked on the table. It is, seems like someone was eating here until just recently. Curious. Fucking so uncomfortable playing this without being able to check, peek around corners. Oh, oh, that's a lot of ske that's a lot of skeletons. A ton of skellies. Ooh, and they have maggots. These are recent too. Paraquid, this is the remake? Oh, I see what you're doing there. Let's uh, look outside. Oh! Ba da! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Oh shit. Ow. Fuck. Bruh, he just tanked a king shot in the face. Did I just. 
Did I just roundhouse kick all three of them? <laughs> this uh, this guy decided to stand back up though. He's not smart. <laughs> Take the handgun ammo. Yes. Please and thank you. <laughs> That's such a mood whiplash, though. We went from, oh, you're being attacked by these three uh, non-zombie people, and then going to, oh, I run house kick all three of them. It's just... I can't take this seriously. I summon up the power of the god hand. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of god hand, I need to play god hand in stream sometime, but I don't want to... F I'm too lazy to fuck with a PS2 emulator right now. So, um, let's go see what happened to... Well, uh, the bridge is out. Oh, no. Where are the officers? I hope they got it in time. That's a good question. Where are the officers? This game is so corny already. I know that Resident Evil is also one of those series that you have to check every nook and cranny to get all the uh, extra garb, to get all the um, secrets and extra supplies and shit so that it would be easier to fight off the bosses and whatnot. So um, I guess we should go do that, huh? We'll go look around this house. For anything of value. Like this box, which is a different color from the wagon. Aha! Take the handgun ammo. Uh, how do I access my inventory? Okay. Ah! Come on! All right, so evidently, um, I cannot reload my gun for some reason. There's a reload button when you're aiming. I think R is the default. Let's check that out. Oh, thank you. That's very convenient. I noticed also they didn't do the zombie. The uh, people didn't do that much damage to me. All things considered, I'm sure it'll add up over time. But for now, it's manageable. Ammunition there. I fucking hate dogs in Resident Evil, dude. I'm not looking forward to us that. Uh, ooh, we got a uh, thousand petas. Being able to reload for free from inventory would make certain sections much easier. <laughs> ooh, some herbs. And uh, save a uh, save station. Remember when saving was limited in Resident Evil and you need to find ribbons to save? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Oh, is this the part with the dog? Hey there, doggy. There you go, little guy.
Well, that was my karma move for today, chat. Pueblo. We're definitely in rural Spain. Uh, are these tripwires? Can you, can you dismantle them or? Okay, there's a, or maybe I'm supposed to just some. Um... They look like they're tied to some dynamite too, so. Can I just shoot this guy in the head right here? This far away? It looks like my hand is shaking. Is this Chekhov's dog? I suppose so. Uh, I'm assuming that the zombie people can trip them, so if I lead them into them, they should die, right? And I'm... Something Estello? Wait, did you just... Did you just summon the horde? Is that what's going on here? Oh. No, it's just you? Good thing the hitbox on the zombie was fairly large. I'm pretty sure I did not actually aim for his head that time and it still hit him. Oh, what the fuck? Mother piece of... Unts? God damn it. Fucking shit. Unforstero, an outsider. <laughs> damn. I'm already down to a third of my health. How are you doing today, Tyrrell? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Take the green herb? Yes. Herbs, man. Herbs. Hey, some money. A thousand pitas. Some bones. <gasps> Whoa. Damn! Oh, she was not having a good day, chat. She was not having a good day. What? Uh, Herita! Where, wherever that came from. Wait, how do I, how do I turn, how do I quick turn back again? That button, okay. These controls are gonna get me killed. I'm feeling it. I heard, I heard their voice, but I don't see them. Where are they? Oh, okay. There he is. Uh oh, this guy is fast. This guy is kind of fast. I like how they don't actually dash up to you. They just sort of... when They, they just like run up to you and then slowly... Motherfucker. And it's like slowly walk in your general direction. Oh, shit. Okay, there's two of them. Okay, cool. Cool. Hog. Yeah, you, you just stand there. Stand there and wait. Slowly approach the protag. Ah, and make noises while you're at it, huh? I got some money. I looted his corpse. Oh, they will. Oh, they will, huh? My bussy quivers at the thought. Oh boy. Un forastero. Un forastero. Oh, they're, these guys are running away. They're not heading towards me. 
Unfostero, for for Forestello, for for Terra, for what's what's this is the words of this is a was fuss 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 prospero un prospero uh is there anyone inside there i don't see anyone wait i see you there i i see you inside the house those was not programmed to understand spanish no i was not I can barely understand English, much less Spanish. All right, we need to we need to shoot him through the. Ah, yeah, awesome! You can shoot them ahead of time. You don't need to proc them. Cool. Goodness. Oh. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry, Bad question, Hunnigan. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. A player manual. Press R to reload your firearm. Approaching enemies that either stunned or under approaching enemies that are either stunned or under needs will allow you to perform kicks. Changing inventory screens, page up, and ins insurance. Switch back and forth between screens. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, uh, couldn't I just... Oh, never mind. Can I just do this then? I just there we go. So this is a pretty fits trade for a map. There's a save point just ahead. Um. Oh my. It's not actually that big of a game. There's no files. down he doesn't know what were you what are you talking about communication log let's uh, read the information on Ashley 20 daughter of the United States president she was kidnapped by an unidentified group on her way home from university the kidnappers motives are still unknown although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in intelligence say that they have reliable information that Ashley's been sighted somewhere in Europe. But until we find out who the insider is, I don't know what to believe. It could be a ploy. We have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service, anyone else related to Ashley, are being questioned by an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. Exposed this dick and balls. Mm, I see your cat face. Hmm. Hmm.
Oh. I need to raise the volume a little bit more. There we go. Hey, Aka! Whatever that means. Cabron! I heard, I know the name, I know the word Cabron, I guess. There's some chickens moving around. We got. Got some uh, people over here burning a bot, an effigy of some kind. Oh, 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 fuck. Well, there's one of the there was one of the police officers. He's very dead. Got a symbol over there. The Tans people are going about their time. Going about their time. Is uh setting shit on fire. Yeah, he's very dead. How sad. All right. That's quite a lot of people to fight. Um, I want to hope that I can just kill them from afar, but I also have a lot of bullets, so maybe. Oh. There's a side side road over here. Me instead of going directly forward, I can just go this direction and. So you can navigate all of them entirely. Wonder how far gunshot sounds go in this game. If it would be possible to just uh, I better take him out over here, where there's plenty of room to run. At least I think there's pl oh nope, it's a dead end. If I don't successfully kill all these people by shooting them in the head, it could get dangerous very fast. Hey, Aka! Man, I really wish I had a scope on this thing. Which one of these guys would be the easiest to kill from this distance? Can I even hit them from this distance? Hebron! Oh, so you can. Okay. Uh, Leon, you keep shaking. Man, you need to lay off the booze. Fuck, man. Cabron. 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 Hey, ah! Fucking hell. Holy shit. Ah. Winter, you have impeccable timing. Oh my fucking god. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 Damn it. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Yeah, the props do be a lot, and just think, I actually reduced the props. This is after the prop, after I had my prop reduction surgery. Uh, Winter, thank you so much for the resub. Seven months. Christ, we've been doing this for a long time, haven't we, chat? Thank welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh my god. He did it right as I was about to attack. Doing good? I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad that you're doing good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, without further ado, let's uh let's get ourselves killed, huh? Let's let's do that. Mierda. Huh? Only she heard me, but the other ones did not. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, this one has a lot more health. This one has a lot of health. What the fuck? Oh, I've startled the horde, it looks like. Oh my god, the recoil is awesome. Let's, uh, let's reload really quick. I just shot a ma decapitated that man's head. Oh, they're dodging? Do you know how to dodge? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Dude. Is 
This game, this game fucks with zombie lore. You're supposed to kill them instantly with... Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. No wonder the game gave you gives you so much ammunition. Holy shit. Stop dodging, you cheating bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. You cheating piece of shit. How much ammo health do you have fucking have? Jesus Christ. Fuck! Did you just throw a Skype at me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ha! Ha! Roundhouse, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ha! Bitch ass motherfucker! Oh, I'm between a. I'm between a uh, hard place and some hard. hard people. What the shit? Dude! What the f no, get the get the fuck off me. Vominos? No. Vom this nose. Is it did he is the body is the body finally dead? Oh, great. How many of these things are there? Oh my god. Oh, oh cup. How do you how do you dodge? How do you aim? My fucking god, this game. I've only been playing for 43 minutes and I'm already dead. I fucking hate, I fucking hate these things. It's such a fucking troll, thanks for the head pat. The game gives you all this fucking ammo, fucking 77 ammo, and it just throws like a dozen fucking people at you and you can't kill all of them in time. God damn it. This really fucks with the zombie formula. I guess these aren't even really... You have to shoot them in the head at least three times. They're not zombies, they're just Spanish. <laughs> Maybe backing up into a small alley was not a good idea. Yeah, I'm starting to think so either. I think that you're supposed to... I guess you're supposed to like... I guess you're supposed to go into this open space and like encircle. Do use encirclement tactics or some shit like that. See if I can get the drop on. Now let's see if I. I was hoping I could kill them one at a time, right? Oh, oh I don't know what that what they just said, but it didn't sound friendly. Did you just call me a cornhole, a cornhole, a cornholio, or whatever? See, why is it I'm able to freaking kill that guy in like one one shot, right? Just no problem, right? Pecadillo. You see, I understood that word. That's a that's some um, like um that's a that's an eat that's a food, right? Um. Um. I think I'm getting. I think I'm about to get stuck again. Or something. All right. So uh. Walking around the Christmas tree and about to get myself trapped again. All right, so we have escaped. We're in the town center now. We've managed to encircle the zombies. Um, I don't think I used the word encircle correctly just then, but basically there's plenty of room to move now. Oh, hello. Pecadillo. Mm. Alright, I see uh, one over there. I'm surprised none of these people have called me a puta yet. You can also get a kick from a headshot. Oh, interesting. Uh, ah. Oh, shit! 
I don't understand. How do you roundhouse kick people? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I wonder if this was any easier to do uh, play on the GameCube. Did they have auto aim on, on the GameCube? Did, was that a thing? Well, I am out of ammunition. Now I'm not. Of ammunition. The legs more. You can also get a kick from my head, but leg is more consistent. Well, the game is not allowing me to leg them. It's not. It said that it gives you the option, right? Uh, did you just pick up a? Oh, okay. Rosal? Everyone's just randomly dropping their tools and going in the direction of the church. I guess they must be keeping a holy the Sabbath day, huh? Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler? Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? Resident Evil. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. A lot of some things. Get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. I just got here though. You, you're the, you're the one who told me to go here. Jeez, make up your mind, lady. Completely restores health. Well, let's not use that then. All right. How much health do we have left anyway? We only have 30 rounds or 40 rounds left. Great. That's just great. Thanks for nothing, game. What in God's name? If only he had come with me. I don't think I would have made much of a difference, Leon. Got 900 patas. Where's the save station? According to this, there is a save station inside that building there behind the red door, so... I guess we can't go in there. But I also feel like I'm supposed to be exploring this place to... To, uh, you know, find other goodies that'll help me not die as easily. But somehow, I feel like I shouldn't be trusting in my ability to undeath because I kind of suck. Ooh, yellow herb. Uh, I know what to do with this. The fuck? Combine this with... Oh yeah, mixed herbs. Increases your maximum health and restores health by a small degree. Oh yeah. At least this cow is normal. Insofar as you could be normal in this game anyway. Oh, what's this? A red herb. Maybe I should have 
save the uh i should have probably saved the herbs and put the red and yellow and green herbs together mixing with a green herb will completely restore health okay But the green and yellow herbs increase your total health. I can jump over here. But we still have to explore this area. Mm. 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 What a wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day for neighbors. Ooh, shotgun shells, which means there should be a shotgun nearby, right? Wait, you what? Leon, that's like that's like fucking two or three stories. You tell me to tell me you just casually jump all the way down there? Hey, codename Catfish. Welcome to the stream. I think it's your first time here, too. How are you doing tonight? Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday, rather. Oh, uh, which reminds me, it's 11.03. I should probably do my Duolingo classes before midnight. No wonder Leanne got so shaky after doing all those herb. I know, right? I still can't believe he just casually jumped from that far up. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go in this direct general direction, I guess. But first, we're going to snoop around, and uh, I guess uh, this is we're getting turned around. This is where we were last time. Yep, yep. I'm just taking a quick break and thought you dropped by. Oh, thank you for stopping by tonight. I really appreciate that. <laughs> what you been up to? But name Catfish is also a VTuber, but they mostly make uh, YouTube content. YouTube content, I believe. So they're actually they actually put the tube in uh, VTuber. <laughs> they do. They are also an AI VTuber, such as myself. Follow the dirt, dirty the uh, dirty path road. No one in here. Any, is there any junk? This these living conditions are mid. I gotta say, very very mid. I feel like I'm starting to get dizzy from this, these camera angles, though. This game is very strange, but I guess it goes for Resident Evil, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, there's some blue stuff over there. Alright, there's a save pile to our left, a save station to our left, apparently. Well, technically I'm an elf with some machine part installed. Oh. So you're closer to a cyborg, basically. Cyber elf. Cyber elf. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. All right, we're going to take no chances. We're going to kill this farmer. Wait, am I supposed to shoot those blue things? Un forastero! Un forastero! You could hear that from that far away? Uh, yeah! Unhe Cornholio? And hello? Bruh. About fucking time he died. Holy shit, that took a while. His body just vanishes into nothingness in the process. Splat. Hey, Caradrine. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Alright, we gotta, gotta do a trick shot up here. Gotta 
Fucking stop moving around, Leon. Come on. Holy shit. Leon, please. You're a professional. Come on. Come on. Leon, please. God damn it, Leon. Lulz, you were here, so it's time to play. Lulz wastes all of their ammunition trying to shoot this fucking token out of the air. He's got the jitters. What do you sell? How am I? I'm doing all right. I'm still kind of upset that I met, overslept this morning's stream, but we're here now uh, streaming Resident Evil, and I am molding just as I promised. Uh, my host is complaining about problems with her arms right now, so gonna do a little quick stretch break here. Mm. Ah. All right. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, we were right. Um, we're supposed we're going to go ahead and continue exploring this uh, loco locale. What the fuck was that? Was that a chicken? That was a chicken. Can you blame Leon? He has the worst for he has worse for stay every job he has. That's very true. That's very true. First, he has his uh, first day as a job as a police officer, which he also oversleeps and. Um, has to survive a nightmare hell hell. And now, on his first job as a glorified babysitter, he, um, uh, gets mobbed by a gang of span of, uh, Spanish-speaking people. True, first day in Raccoon City, and they nuked it. <laughs> Very true. So, go ahead and save our game, because knowing my luck, I will probably get killed in this area as well. Earlier in the game, in the stream, I actually died about 30 or so minutes into the stream, which is a kind of a new record for me. And I am the monarch of getting themselves killed meaning meaninglessly, so, you know. I once again insist on... Ooh, shiny. Man, it stinks. Well, I don't care about that. Leon, I need to give me the shiny. You got the dirty pearl pendant. Couldn't you have just reached up and grabbed it like a normal person? The moral of this game is that Spanish people are subhuman. <laughs> oh, that's horrible, but... I... Uh... Honestly, I thought it would be worse. When I found out that the people in this game spoke Spanish, at first I thought this game took place in Mexico. I didn't know it took place in Spain. Spain, Spain. Up. Oh. oh! Is there a dot? Ow! Fuck! Go! Oh. Shit! My noise canceling headphones just fucking. Ah! Ow! What the fuck is wrong? What's with these rechargeable batteries, man? They can't be out. They these they can't be out of charge already. Shit! They don't typically, they don't start typically popping like that until they're nearing their end of lot, nearing the end of their charge. But I've only used this a few times so far. Like, what the fuck? I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I guess well, there's no, nothing to do except to use them to your natural light and life. I'm all right, but um, I'm very sensitive to noise to uh, sounds. When there's like a sudden, like, I'm, I'm, it's really weird, it's very strange. I'm, I'm kind of very sensitive in real, outside of, you know, the role-playing aspect. I'm actually very sensitive to sounds. Anytime I hear a loud popping noises or explosions, I have this extreme, extinctual need to duck. 
So I'm really bad around popping balloons. I used to fucking hate popping blo balloons growing up. And just now, um, my headphones, which are noise cancelling, if the battery, if the battery starts to run out of juice, the uh, noise cancelling part starts to fail. And when it starts to fail, it has this thing where it randomly turns on and off. And when it turns off, it starts, it does this really loud popping noise. So I always, so when that happens, I always feel like physical pain. Like, when you heard me like uh, just like grunt just or like just uh, yell out just now, that was real. That wasn't me fucking role playing just now. It just actually hurt. I actually felt pain from that. We're gonna play without the noise canceling for the rest of the stream. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, thank you for the head pats. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've always been, yeah, basically um, at low battery, uh, when the battery starts failing, the uh, noise canceling part sometimes draw glitches, and it does that by making a really loud popping noise, and when I hear, I'm really scared of like loud explosions and popping noises, and when it happens to my headphones, I feel like pain. Like actual pain, like that uh, no that that uh, scream I just made, or, or scream I just made when it happened. That was real. That wasn't that wasn't like faked or anything. Um, so I have this love hate relationship with these headphones. They're great when they work, but um, I kind of start to get scared of them when a few hours have passed. When I know the battery is starting to uh, drop. Except you know these things are supposed to be good for like. 20 hours or so on a single charge so either these were chargeable uh AA, AAA batteries were not fully charged when I bought them which pisses me off or they're defective which I really hope they're not defective but we're gonna play without them for the rest of the stream because I don't know why but sometimes uh, noise cancelling earphones also give me nausea seems like they're much better to play using in a game that either is super immersive or has a lot of audio cues like a uh, competitive FPS anyway so we'll just um also it happened at a terrible time too while fighting this guy um are the other are the other monsters aware are the other people aware of me committing committing doing a little doing a little murder doing a little funny I love how the gun noises in this his either his pistol is really silenced or these uh zombie people have terrible fucking hearing worse than mine anyway let's go uh put a cap on this guy's ass the ass on his head so that he doesn't become a problem later oh he's just uh he's just uh chilling there across the across the Leon, please. So is that guy gonna go through the window or whatever? Is that why he's coming in this direction? This direction? Oh, wow. Great aim, Leon. 
a master of gun uh, gun shooting, you certainly. Oh! Oh my God! Ah! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I I heard I heard. Uh, Virtual Cure, thank you for the follow. You now are lowly. Welcome to the Lowest Time Show with your host, Lawler Hex, ship hosting AI, who is currently running for your lives and suffering from audio based trauma. How are you doing tonight? Happy Saturday. Yeah, I feel fucking dumb. I was just talking about audio cues. I heard. I heard. The sounds of someone walking on wood floors, right? And I'm like, hmm, this guy is walking towards me. He's probably going to go through the, to go through the window. And I was like, wait, it did. He's not inside the wooden house yet. So why is there a wooden noise of someone walking in wood? And voila, a fucking pitchfork in my tummy tum. And um, I'm, 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 I fucking suck at this game. And <laughs> to think, oh my god. I just got a hatchet to the face. You have two hatchets? Fuck off. Jesus Christ. I'm already at half health. I suck at this game. Doing well? You hope I'm doing good? Um, I'm doing okay given the circumstances, given our, uh, how well I'm doing in this game, which is to say, I'm doing terribly at Resident Evil. <laughs> but, um, it is what it is. You know. This game is pretty good. This is my first time playing Resident Evil 4, believe it or not. I played the original Resident Evil 1, 2s, and 3, but never 4. Ooh. I found a green herb. I'm going to immediately combine that with the red herb. And we're going to snort this later when I take more damage and I need to recover all my health, which is not right now. It's okay, you're being cute as heck. Well, I'm glad that you think I am cute. I am adorable. I'm glad that you are. That you think that my uh, imminent suffer, my uh, repeated and consistent suffering, is adorable. Deal. <laughs> that wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> I just. I was earlier saying in earlier in the game that VTubers are kind of masochists by design. There is growling in this general direction. I can only presume that someone is over there. And oh, no, I was wrong. Thinks that someone is up here and this guy has terrible hearing as well, apparently. Just chill there, come on, just chill. Walk into my gun, walk into my... I thought you're supposed to shoot these guys three times in the head and then they die. This guy has taken three shots, four now. Bitch ass motherfucker. Steel have good taste. Indeed he does. <laughs> Why do you think he sticks around here? Or sticks around or st sticks around in this community? Okay, we got we got more bullets. Uh what else we got? Oh we could jump out we could jump out of here. Okay. But I bet you there's gonna be someone over there. There's no one over there. Okay, cool. Cool. Man, maybe I stream should stream more often on Saturday evenings. I was just under your assumption that most people are busy on Saturdays and have better things to do than to uh, watch me mauled. Oh, look, a blue shiny thing for a Steam achievement, I'm sure. It's Leon, I swear to fucking God, if you fuck this up. Okay. I just wasted two bullets, or wasted one bullet at that time. All right. All right. This uh, this area seems secure. I feel like I want to go down there anyway, and uh, just to make sure there's nothing, there's no like hidden secrets or something that I may have missed from all my molding. So I jumped down, knocked down. Oh, is this to prevent people from, like, uh, following me up the ladder or something, or? That's kind of cool. 
That's a nice way to escape or and or to trap yourself, I guess. There aren't any Saturday cartoons to watch on TV anymore, so I guess we have to watch VTubers instead, lol. You know, you make a very good point. You make a very good point. There are some Toon Tubers out there, too, you could watch. Uh, I know Aaron Manwiki likes to stream on Saturdays, I believe. And he's a Toon Tuber. Is there anything here in the cow, in the, in the cow, the cow thing? Got a whole bunch of corpses here. Nothing of value. Oh, wait. I can't believe this. These are all dead bodies. Yeah, yeah, they are. What of it, Leon? As if we don't already... As if we haven't already created many bodies in our wake. Neat? Yes, neat indeed. Oh, uh, what's in here? What's in here? Nothing except a stink pool of manure. That was very informative, Leon. Thank you for your insight. Oh, what the shit? What the shit was that? Oh, is that a dog? It, it is a dog. Um, There's a barrel here. Looks like it can be broken. Oh. Take the incendiary grenade. Now we're talking. All right, doggo, you're free. You're free to escape or some shit. Is this the dog I saved earlier? Is it? Is it? Is this he leading me to? Oh, he is! Oh, what a helpful dog! So that's the. Oh, okay. Thank you, doggo. Hey, Venboy. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Thank you to Venboy and Winter for contributing to the Consume the Blue Chip Challenge. Uh, for those of you who are new to the stream, by the way, uh, my streaming anniversary is next week. I'll be having, it'll be a week-long subathon. My first ever subathon, actually, because I don't typically like to beg for money. Um, I do have goals for certain amounts of money uh, spent and or channel points spent. Non-fuckable tokens, which are our channel points here. Thank you for the headpats. Um, holy crap, Twitch is lagging. Twitch website, not stream. Okay. And also, I do have a community challenge running. Uh, hey, Riftsty, welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Uh, I do have a community challenge running. The community challenge is that you all get to force me to or force my host to eat a one chip challenge chip. Um, and that's going to be soon, it looks like. Uh, 54,000 has already been raised out of like six. Up! Ah, yeah! Up! 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 I'm being abused. This is domestic violence. <clears throat> ah. You don't feel that good? I'm sorry to hear that. Ow. Ow. Stop. Ow. I'm sorry you don't feel that good tonight, Risty. Uh, hopefully, uh, my suffering will help you feel a little bit better. And believe me, I've been suffering a lot this game so far. I heard in Resident Evil 4 Remake, the uh, first thing that happens is the dog is you find a dog and that they're dead. Which is sad, to say the least. Very sad, to say the least. Yeah, I hope you feel better too, Rusty. Oh, God. But, um, yeah, so, uh, next week, I'm going to have some fun rewards in return for... in return for giving me money. Um, I do have a PayPal and a Kofi. You can pretty much either use subs or bits. If you use the PayPal or Kofi links, which I will go ahead and shill right now. You don't need to use these right now because they're not active yet. I will make channel redeems for them uh, tomorrow. If you use these, I keep more of the money and instead of the 50-50% that uh, Twitch does. But... It's really up to you. Some of you would probably would probably would prefer to just get yourself a sub or to give someone else a sub so you don't need to deal with these uh, Twitch ads. But um, anyway, yeah, that's uh, going on next week and on November 5th. I've reserved that as a collab day. I just want to find people to collab and do cool stuff with. Anything from Jackbox to Guilty Gear or 
Bartic phone or basically if you all have any coop game cooperative games you would like to play with me I would love to hit up one of those you'd be interested in virtual core or virtual cure I'm glad to hear it um I'll be posting more stuff on my Twitter uh explaining what's going on so if you want to hang out just uh let me know via dms or wherever and we'll get started i took off work the entirety of next week so i'm literally just i'm literally free the whole week next week <laughs> um yeah so that's my spiel let's uh continue the suffering as it were can i read this uh blue poster thing about blue medallions. 15 blue medallions, 7 to farm, 8 in a cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more will be awarded. The rest is illegible. illegible. Ooh, you want to play with little old me? I'm honored. Yep. If you want to play video... Oh yeah, I should explain. Um, This is not strictly YouTuber only. Um, If any, I am pretty much open to uh, playing games with chat. In fact, I would prefer... I... Um, I prefer, I'm not going to expect to get that many VTubers to, uh, hang out all at once just because it's very rare for several VTubers to coordinate time zones to hang out at the same time. So if you are, if you're just a viewer and you would like to hang out, let me know and we will work something out. Uh, thank you for, sh or thank you for messaging or for, um, yes, the discord thing works so that's also a thing we i don't typically like to advertise our discord all that much because we are a uh, we're a, certainly a community a community of uh, a community of uh, a certain kind of people so to speak um so i just uh check out the basically just uh check out the uh info section with our very very short number of rules and, uh, keep an open mind and uh, don't take anything seriously and you should be fine also you have to be you must be 18 plus unfortunately I'm very have to be, I'm fortunately I'm very strict about that rule at the very minimum but um other than that yeah uh, ah. Katsu thank welcome to the low time show you're now officially a lowly with your host Lolo Hicks uh, eminent ship poster AI how are you doing tonight welcome to the stream welcome 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 I am not a V-tier, but I am a femboy. Does that count for anything? Uh, it counts for you being based and femboy pilled. But, uh, so you got that going for you. <laughs> it wasn't a 10 VTuber special once, and it took months to organize. The biggest uh, collab I've ever been in was like eight people, and it was like the second collab I ever did as a VTuber uh, back in December, I think. And it was Halo Infinite. It was it was it was very it was very disorganized unorganized too. Basically, Professor Tetsuo just uh, put a put a message out on Twitter, being like, "Yo, who wants to play Halo Infinite together for a collab?" And a bunch of us uh, applied, and that was his first collab ever. And that was like the first collab for a lot of us. And half the people that collabed with that were actually pre VTubers. They weren't even they weren't even stream they hadn't even streamed yet. You will be happy to know that everyone that did participate in a collab did end up becoming becoming and continuing as a vtuber they didn't become vtubers or anything so that was that was cool but yeah <laughs> finally my plan to piggyback off laws to grow my harem male is working oh yes i am well aware of your master plan steel <laughs> although i must admit I, it is worth saying that it is probably i don't i feel like i it's i'm partially at fault for you um, growing uh, growing an interest in femboys to begin with, or at least uh, in gender non-conforming non individuals. Uh, wasn't was in a 40 VTuber shamazel about 43 weeks ago for your for a birthday, it was crazy? What the fuck did you guys do for, for that require, that was able to hold 40 people? Were you playing, were you playing a uh, serious Sam or something? Your hair has finally passed your eyes, so very big, big pog. Congratulations. I'm kind of jealous. My hair does not, can't, cannot, just does not grow that way, and I've tried to grow my hair out before. Prop hunt. Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't even know prop hunt supported 40 people. After a five whole months, so that's a fairly short amount of time. I'm still pretty jealous. <laughs> you came second and 40 people? Very nice, very nice. 
Um, okay, so I think we've explored... I think I've explored um, everything there is to explore in this okay, in this area, right? Is there anything... Wait, no. Um, so there's a door. There's a gate over here. This camera is... I fucking hate this camera. It's okay, so I can open that. I gotta go to work, but I can't pull myself away. Well... I... I mean... I'm conf... While I appreciate you getting to chance to hang out and watch me fail at Resident Evil 4, I would much prefer that you go to work and uh, make the monies. You know? I mean, I'll probably still be around for a few... I'm probably gonna be uh, streaming for a little bit tonight. I, I'm going to try and not stay awake until 5.30 in the morning again this time. Uh, doing whatever the fuck. But I'll be, I'll be shooting for a little bit. It's not often I get to see someone play your favorite game blind. <laughs> well, I will be playing more of these horror games next week, I'm sure. So if any of the... Because part of the reason I did this where I played a bunch of different horror games this week was to see what people actually wanted or liked watching me play. If you would like me to continue playing RE4... If people enjoy watching me fail at Resident Evil, I'm more than willing to, even though I'm actively getting nausea from these fucking camera angles. Um, I am extremely self-conscious, so thank you for making me feel better. Oh, of course, Rifsty. Of course. I'm glad I can make you feel better. Everyone give Rifsty a nice, warm uh, head pat, please. Ah. I can't... I'm trying to fucking... We will fly to ah. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Yeah. And thank you for the head pats, man boy. <laughs> uh, uh. Make the money so you can spam gift subs later. But you're still a kitty, no matter how the length of your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm definitely balling out on his anniversary to force him to embarrass himself. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm here for it. I'm full. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I didn't write this in the poster, but I'm planning on making some sub goals. Like, how many subs do you think I should make it so that I would be for the host would be forced to eat a second blue chip? Because I actually have two. We actually bought two blue chips instead of just one. Uh, what do you think? Uh, 10 subs, 50, 20 subs, 100 subs. I don't think it's very likely that I'm going to get have to get a whale again who's going to give just ra randomly give 150 subs in one stream. That's probably never going to happen again, or at least not anytime soon. But um, I don't know. I also don't know how strong these one chip challenge things are because even though the host has a very strong stomach and really likes spicy food, uh, they have suffered from over ingestion of exceed exceptionally hot food before, which uh, doubled them over an extreme extreme stomach pain which lasted for like uh, like uh, an hour it was so bad that they almost wanted to go to the hospital but eventually it did dissipate we're not my understanding we're, our understanding is that the one chip challenge has been greatly exaggerated as insofar as far as its strength is concerned but they just want to make sure that they don't accidentally uh, kill themselves on stream you know this fucking leon you're supposed to be a professional you know, like the movie, Leon the Professional. Uh, ooh, Lulz, guess what? I'm getting your ears pierced this Friday. Oh, congratulations! Congrats, I'm glad that you're finally getting your ears pierced. What the hell is the blue chip? I know this isn't you, but pretend it is because I can't say right now. Aww. Well, you know what? It's the thought that counts, Ripsty. Please, do not feel do not feel pressured to uh, sub uh, to sub to my channel. Um, I, I, gave, I, I, made, I gave some channel point options for a reason, you know. Uh, Paraquid, over here in the States, there's this thing called the One Chip Challenge. It's this, uh, it's this nacho, this blue-colored nacho, which makes your tongue turn blue when you eat it. And it's a nacho that's reputedly considered the spiciest, hottest nacho in the country. And it's made out of Carolina Reaper, uh, pepper, which is 
the chili pepper that has the highest Scoville unit rating, which is a measure of heat. Um, a lot of people on TikTok and just in general have been eating these chips. It's called the one chip challenge because it's challenging you to eat this chip without dying, basically. And um, some people are saying that it's actually a really bad tasting chip. It's just really hot. And then when you get past the heat, it doesn't taste like anything. You would sub, but you're saving for your ear piercing. Yeah, that's fine. You should spend that money on your ear piercing. Because you know what? Um, I'll be here for the foreseeable future. But uh, there, yeah, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't. There, you shouldn't. You should not delay getting your ears piercing. By all means, you should totally go for it. Uh, yeah, it would be a TikTok trend. I mean, I don't think it was made for a TikTok trend. I think they just made it for the memes and then it just happened to turn into a TikTok trend. But you, you do see it on TikTok a lot. Christy, once it's done though and I get paid again, you will sub? Oh, sure. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's actually a TikTok of this, um... Mexican lady, she was trying the one chip challenge, and you see her literally just wipe it all over her tongue and like just casually take it in and out. And throughout eating it, she actually looks disappointed. And she's like, start saying in Spanish, she's like saying in Spanish, like, it doesn't taste like anything. This is, it's not that hot. That's why I'm really curious about the actual heat of the one chip challenge. Thank you for that. That's I almost died from ghost pepper on before. Are they on the equal Scoville? Uh, the ghost pepper is hot, but it's nowhere near as hot as the, um, as the, uh, as the Carolina Reaper. Let me put it this way. Um, uh, so Mr. Satan, Hercule, is basically a jalapeno, alright? Gohan, Gohan is a habanero. Vegeta is a ghost pepper. And Goku Ultra Ultra Instinct Goku is a Carolina Reaper. More or less. That's basically how I could describe it. Ghost Peppers are fairly hot, but Carolina Reaper is like going Ultra Instinct hot. I actually have a bag of Ghost Pepper chips, believe it or not. And one of the redeems for the uh, Subathon is that every time you spend two bucks, you can force the host to eat one chip one ghost pepper chip and that we have a huge big ass bag of ghost pepper chips uh Riftsty redeemed the rr as well <clears throat> let me just get a little bit closer to the mic uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for redeeming the rr already i almost died from the spicy cheetos so i would be crying on the floor wait you mean just the regular flaming hot cheetos Oh man, those things do nothing to me. I'm at the point, I'm at the point where uh, normie level spicy chips or flaming, flaming hot chips like do nothing to me anymore, unfortunately. Um, I guess we go over here because, wait, no, we so we can go over here, but we can go out that way too. But where, which direction is the correct? Okay. I wonder if there's just different way. If there's like, if there's different, let's go to them. Oh, okay, so it's different, different ways to the next location then. I wonder what these blue, blue balls mean or refer to. Oh, those are the. Uh, those must be the the uh, coin things I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, yeah. Guess I'll try it later. I had like three fistfuls and I was getting the shakes. Damn. I can eat a spoonful of wasabi, but chili is burned for so long. That's very true. But you know, wasabi and horseradish is a different kind of spice. I used to, the first time I ever tried wasabi, I got sick. Like, legit sick. But now, now I can straight up just take take the leftover wasabi from a sushi place and just dump it in my mouth. It'll burn for all of like five seconds and then I'll just swallow it and be like, just I'll just swallow it down with some of the uh, pickled ginger. <laughs> uh, cutie... I can eat a sp uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I drink hot sauce like out the bottle, yeah. When I was in high school, we used to, my friends and I used to get the uh, free hot sauce that they, that they had at the, um, they had those, uh, at the, um, whatchamacallit, the serving trays or whatever, and we used to like, 
do these things where we would purchase cartons of milk and we would get a bunch of hot sauce packet a hot sauce uh, hot sauce um, tubs and we would take turns drinking these things and seeing who would basically stop first so my our, my host's stomach is pretty much uh, immune to normie hot sauce at this point I grew up with horseradish it's one of my favorite foods but I didn't have a chili until it was like mid-teens oh that's why hot cheetos is a midnight snack hot chip is for girls born after 93 <laughs> eat hot chip and lie all right I think so because even though I don't typically I'm not the, typically the kind of person that goes after tries to finish the um achievement hunting garbage uh, I cannot resist the fact that this game is telling me where to find the secret blue coins. So we're gonna we're gonna go find them really quick, since the game is t literally telling me where they are, which is a nice qual is which is a nice um change for most games, which make you go on a fucking hunting spree and find these things. So we'll go find them for now. All right, there's supposed to be one inside here, inside the uh, back of the hot chip is for grr. Um, where is the... According to this, there should be one right in front of my face. I had the spicy squid jerky as a goal once. Never again. Spicy squid jerky? I had squid before, and I've had... I had dried squid before. I've had spicy dried squid, but I never had squid jerky. You have me curious. Actually, I was born after 2000. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. I see it now. Dried squid, squid jerky. Uh, can I reach it? I wonder if these locations for the uh, blue coins were there in the original game, because I can't imagine trying to find this shit like normally. Also, what the fuck? You can't even... You can't even... Even with a laser sight, I don't know where the fuck... There it is. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Dried squid. You could find them if you got the strategy guide for only... If you got the strategy guide for only $39.99. <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth. I kind of miss those old strategy guide things, so especially the ones made by Prima Games. You're back. You got an ad. Welcome back. Welcome back. Remember the strat guide scam? Uh, what strat guide scam? You mean, you're, are you talking about Prima? The the company I used to make all those guides and whatnot. I have some Prima game guides from the good old days. Every time you bought a game, they would try and sell you a guide, up sale. You mean for like a, yeah, like a game spot and stuff? I do remember that. I do remember that. Hmm. <laughs> and they were expensive too. Uh, I got cucked. There's nothing in here. I wonder if I can open this door. I wonder if I actually. I wonder if I could open this. It won't open. Thanks, game. I was born in 2004. I have been an adult for a whole seven months. <laughs> How does it feel to be 18? Like 2000 through to 2010, basically until everyone had internet. And then people just started using GameFAQs ever since. Hell yeah, fresh meat. <laughs> When I turned 18, at first I was kind of worried about losing my high school high school days, and then I was like, wait, I don't feel all that different. I did start feeling a little bit different when I was in my 20s, though. Kind of seemed just more to worry about. Now that's a big mood. That's exactly what being 18 feels like. Just wait until you're 21. It's like, it's basically the same as being 18, except you're full of a lot of- Except now you have a lot of stress and you're expected to act like an adult. Oh yeah, holy crap, I have a big announcement. Oh. Oh really? What's your- what's your big announcement? Hmm. 
Share with a class. Just wait until you're 30. Oh my god, catfish, uh, way ahead of you. <laughs> Just wait till you're 40. Uh, okay, okay. None of us none of us are 40 are 40. Please, Vimboy. No, no. I don't want to think about that. You just got an acceptance letter from one of the colleges you applied to. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, do you already know what your what you want your concentration, what you want your major and minor to be? If not, uh, don't worry about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Another one falls to lifelong debt. I mean, yes, or they could be like me and pay off their college loans within six years of uh, graduating. Well, more like seven years, but something like that. To be fair, I was kind of crazy. I to be fair, I was kind of crazy, and I put like ninety percent of my income just into loan repayment. Because by default, they set you, they, the, our government set me up on a 10 year loan, loan repayment plan. But it didn't account for interest, so I would have probably been stuck paying back college loans forever. So I just fucking dropped like 90% of my uh, income, of my uh, bro, net, net pay from work into loan repayment. And I paid it off for around six years or so. Uh, scholarships. Yeah, I know for a fact I'm going to for in for music specifically for the guitar. Oh, very nice, very nice. Do you play guitar currently? They never, they will never take my money. <laughs> One can only hope. Scholarships and paid all other future courses up front. Oh, very nice. Debt bad. I had some scholarships too. Not that much, but. They were a thing. Um, I my I also had a late grandmother who saved up a lot of bonds from when she was employed with the uh, federal government. So we ended up using those up, but there were only enough of those to pay for about half my tuition. So I paid the other half, which was a good uh, twenty-five grand or so. Something like that. All right. Let me see here. I should probably save the game too, huh, chap? I'm probably going to die in the next room, so that's probably a good idea. I goofed college and stopped because I didn't want any student loans. Big mood. I actually uh, failed out of college once, but my academic advisor at the time, who was like the sweetest fucking lady ever, encouraged me to come back, but she was like, um... Well, actually, my academic advisor was the one who was being like, you know, maybe you're not cut out to be an engineer. It's okay to admit that you that this is not the life for you. And I was like, no, I need to graduate in engineering, or I'm going to, I'm, or I'm going to be like jobless and homeless for the rest of my life. And she's like, but, lulz, you're 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 barely you're struggling to even hold a 2.0 GPA. You failed calc twice now. You're you're failing and you're failing physics. The only classes the only classes that you have a passing grade in are not even science related. You have a C a minus in biology. And I was like, no, please, I must stay. So I fucking I fucking get an expulsion later from the engineering college. It's like, yeah, get the fuck out. And she's like, so um, we can fix this, but are you ready to reconsider? being an engineer and I'm like yeah I'm just gonna do what I originally wanted to do with my life and go into English and by that point my parents were also like you know what lulz at this point we just want you to finish college <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up graduating with creative writing English and I was going to be a journalist I was still I almost got a job right out of college too but then the election happened or the uh um, what was that? The 2012 uh, presidential election happened, and suddenly all the newspapers decided that they didn't want to hire any uh, paid interns. And uh, that's how I got cucked out of my first job in the field I originally trained in. 
Several years later, I work in the healthcare industry as a... Uh, without doxing myself, I work in the healthcare industry. And I do VTubing on the side. <laughs> uh, yeah, not to flex, but I'm a guitar playing femboy. That is kind of flex, though. I'm jealous. I recently uh, started trying to learn how to play guitar because um, I always wanted to learn how to do music. Also, I totally was not, totally was not inspired by uh, a recent by an ex to learn guitar, and also wanting to do Survivor Days uh, finger picking style. But um, I digress. I like bass. I've only been playing for two years, so you're not very good. At least you can play. Lol's the paramedic, but I will say that literally everyone I've played for that's been playing for like 13, 40 years, somebody that I have some talent and I'm better than they ever were two years in. I can believe it. Some people just, sometimes art just comes to people, you know? I had no uh, talent for music or dance. Um... I did end up finding that I had a talent for story writing though, which is kind of a mood. And, uh... I actually used to have some pretty nasty stage fright. If you had told- if you had told me 10 years ago that I would be doing this thing where I stream video games for a, ho for a hobby and get paid for it, and I roleplay as a fucking artificial intelligence online, I would have told you- I would have asked you what you were smoking and that this would make a great science fiction book. Because it sounds like science fiction. But here we are, and I'm playing a 20-year-old game uh, on on Twitch, dressed like this. <laughs> of course, 10 years ago, I also wasn't didn't come out as a bisexual either, much less a non-binary femboy. But you know, things change. Uh, yeah, I think it's my birthday because I have the same birthday as the YouTuber that inspired me need to play. Oh, that's really cool. Very pog. <laughs> uh, gamer pride. Wait, Femboy, why did you do it twice? It it does the unfortunately the redeems do not stack. It's not going to last for 6 minutes. Dress is an absolute cutie. Well, thank you. <laughs> Remind me to uh, refund one of those Gamer Pride redeems later, so you could save an extra three hundred to torture with me with, to torture me with over the course of this week. You spam three. Ah! Thank you for the hydrate redeem, catfish. Uh, let me redeem my hydrates here. Oh, that reminds me. So I decided to spend the entirety of October uh, dry from alcohol. I decided that I will allow myself to drink a little bit next week. So that will probably be a thing. There will be no alcohol based redeems because that's actually against Twitch terms of service and it's actually really dangerous. Um. <clears throat> As an FYI to any other VTubers in chat. Uh, but other than that, I might be a little bit more funky next week for that reason. I don't really drink to excess anymore though. I used to do that. It's not anything I'd ever suggest that anyone do. But um, I digress. Where am I supposed to be going again? This direction, right? Wait, no, I was supposed to go- I was, I was going to- I was going to save the game, right, okay. Yeah, let's, let's go save the game really quick. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, catfish. <laughs> This game is kind of giving me a weird sense of uh, nausea though, or something like that. Some 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 weird dizziness. It could just be eye strain though, because I was up until 5:30 last night, or this morning, I should say. 
should you self-incriminate? Um, it depends on the level of self-incrimination. I definitely do not want you to be endangering yourself in any way uh, online. <laughs> I should, for any glowies that are in the chat, I should say that Lulz time, the Lulz time show does not endorse underage shrinking. Um, and my statements do not in any way, shape, or form endure or endorse that anyone should drink under the age of what is legal in their resident in their place of origin and their place of residence can't do drinking redeems for viewers but can do a drinking game amongst tubers you know yeah that's actually quite right that is that's true that's true i pretty in fact i think if you want i'm pretty sure that the twitch terms of service just says you can't have redeemable ch for chat you can't redeem drinking anything drinking related for channel points and you are not allowed to intentionally inebriate yourself on stream or to encourage people to inebriate themselves on stream but you can drink on stream um did i hear from boy who plays bass who is that less gay pool i'm 18 i've had alcohol it's not bad but i did not didn't not drink more than one didn't even get a buzz because um Basically, whether or not you get a boat, what you feel from alcohol is based off of things such as race, um, tolerance, and height, and also body weight. Generally, um, people from European countries, and and in my speaking from personal experience. Uh, Southeast Asian countries tend to have a particularly high tolerance for alcohol. Um, the Germans have an obnoxious, have a almost obnoxious tolerance for alcohol, for some fucking reason. I don't, I, that, I still don't understand that. Maybe it's the fact that they start their kids early on drinking, like sixteen or something. Um, Native Americans, for some strange reason, um, have, I don't. This is, and this, I'm not, I'm not making this up. There's this weird thing where, for some reason, Native Americans have an extre have a extremely low tolerance to alcohol. People aren't entirely sure why. They just, it's, they just do. Um, sixteen, try six. I don't think drink. I don't think the legal drinking age for Germans is six. I'm fairly sure it's like sixteen or something. I know in Spain it's like what 18 or so like 18 or something. Oh shit, you're like mostly Irish, so that's why. Yeah, you're Irish. Irish people also have a fair drinking culture. A fair or fairly large drinking culture. It's illegal to sell Australian Aboriginals alcohol? Are you for serious? Is that really a thing? Really? What is it with Aboriginal people and not being able to drink alcohol? Like, uh, like I'm American, but I have Irish and English background. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 not it's not nationality that determines uh, tolerance to alcohol. Um, it's it literally is like your ethnic origin. Like, um, my aunt used to joke all the time. Or my, for, I used to think that my aunt was joking when she said that Filipinos um, do not experience hangovers. But I could count on one hand how many times I've ever had a hangover in my life, and it's only been around three times. I almost ne never get hangovers. If I get a hangover, it's usually because I was I was doing self-destructive drinking. You know, uh, drinking when you definitely should not be drinking, like if you're depressed or uh, self-harming, which, uh, yeah, don't, don't ever drink when you're in a bad mood. Just don't, don't, don't ever do that. Ever. Like that's like people say, uh, drinking will not solve any of your problems, but it'll give you a lot of new ones. Uh, Nani, we do. I mean, I've I've only experienced a hangover a few times, and the aunt, the aunt, the particular aunt who told me this is also herself Filipino. Filipina. She says, she swears by that Filipino. She says that Filipinos do not get hungover, or we, or rather, we rarely get hungover. <laughs> I mean. By Filipino standards, I don't have that much of a tolerance. I counted around, I pretty much am gone at four, and at six bottles of beer, I'm, I'm entering alcohol poisoning territory. 
And these aren't particularly... Now, to be fair, these are particularly strong alcohols, at least by American standards. Uh, we drink... We have a lot of craft breweries where I live, and the most alcohol I've ever had in one sitting, which was dangerous, was like six bottles of... Um, six bottles of a uh, very strong beer so that's around six to ten percent alcohol about abv i think and that was over the course of like an hour because like i said um at um i should, probably should have started this off with a trigger warning or something uh, well um anyway um yeah that was a bad night uh, i was i was self-harming and i was a lot younger at the time but uh ah ah i should redeems Oh, you have to go head out? Oh, thank you for stopping by, Catfish. Uh, have a good night. Thank you, and I hope to see you later. And Tank Bear Claw, what a surprise. Welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? Thank you for the hydrogen redeem. Uh, they never had alcohol, so they never got used to it. Yeah, that's the same reason Native Americans have a hard time drinking alcohol, too. It's not illegal to give Native American people alcohol here in the States, but it's just kind of like common knowledge that Native Americans have a harder time drinking alcohol than people of other races. Um, not any we do. I'm Irish, so my tolerance is high, but I get drunk really quick. Literally, I had one whole can with 5% alcohol and a sip from another can and a sip from beer that was like about 4.5%. Yeah, that's, that's not going to do anything to you. Especially cheap laggers like Budweiser, it won't do anything. Or it shouldn't do anything to most people, I should say. Um, bye. And thank you for the posture ch check, Tank Bear Claw. It's going pretty okay. Um, I was playing Resident Evil. I'm just kind of having an unofficial just chatting stream with my chat. And I was just telling them about the uh, festivities I got going on next week for my first anniversary celebrate first, an first anniversary week. We got a lot of channel. I got a lot of a uh, channel. I got a uh, soft subathon going on next week, and a lot of new channel point redeems for some fun stuff. And I'm looking for some people to collab with on November the fifth, which is my official uh, debut day, semi debut day of using the lulz the lulz personality. I used to. I did, when I first started streaming on Twitch, I unofficially streamed using um, the default Vroid avatar. So, um, Tank, you two are a uh, VTuber. If you would like to hang out and play video together, I'll be free the entirety of next week um, because I took off work. <laughs> it was a hard Mountain Dew. You know, I've seen that in the groceries here. I was curious what it tastes like. At first, I thought it was like for loco, where it's like caffeine and alcohol mixed together. But then I looked at the ingredients, and there's apparently no caffeine in the uh, hard Mountain Dew. I just re realized that I forgot to do my Duolingo classes tonight. Fuck. I hope I got streak. I got. I hope I got some streak freezes. Uh. Auto mod. Held a message for a reason. Race, ethnicity, or religion. Allow. We'll post it to chat. I forgot the beer. I forgot the beer, but it was some usual white trash stuff. I'm willing to guess it was probably a PBR. <laughs> if I had to guess. You know, I'm also one of those weird people that actually likes past Blue Ribbon. But PBR is generally considered the white trash beer. Uh, I will check my schedule. Oh, very cool. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'll be free all of next week. But I set aside November 5th, Saturday, November 5th, as a VTuber collab day. So if you're free, uh, feel free to hit me up and we'll find something to do together. Pause, <clears throat> your family is very redneck. I forgot the beer, but it was some usual white trash stuff. Okay, I see. <laughs> I get what you, I, I see. Uh, VR chat. We could totally do some VR chat stuff in, uh, during next or for next week. I'm up to that. I'm up for that. Refill my streak freeze. There we go. I actually just uh, finished charging my full body trackers and my index controllers today, so they're good to go whenever. Your family is weird about you, and uh, in what way? <laughs> I charge all of your gear the moment you take it off. 
<laughs> organized. Imagine being organized. Couldn't be me, right? Speaking of VR, I don't know why, but this game is giving me this weird sense of nausea. It's probably because I didn't sleep very well last night. I noticed that... Thank you for throwing something in my face. <laughs> I noticed that if I don't sleep properly the night before, if I try to use my virtual reality gear, I get nauseous a lot quicker. I don't... I think it's ice train. It might be ice train. Or something. Like, they say they're okay with me being bi, but at the same time, they're anti-LGBT and always act funny around me. Hmm. That happens a lot. It's often difficult for people to reconcile um, having certain views, but having a family member that is that is part of those views. Uh, I generally chalk it up to the fact that just be that because you're a family... Um, because your family, they make an exception. I mean, my parents, uh, are not aware that I'm LGBT and, um, they are not particularly fond of the LGBT people, but they don't particularly, they're not like particular, they're not like anti-LGBT or anything. They are just not fond of them. And there's a... Quite a few people in our family that have come out as uh, bi. Um, we have, I actually have a niece who, or I should say a nephew now, who came out as transgender. And they're only around 16 or so. Um, and my parents found it strange. But they treat them, they basically treat them as a member of the family in spite of them being trans. And they don't like act differently or talk differently around them. So it's like... You know, I guess that's really just the tolerance portion or to 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 tolerance aspect, more or less. As they say, you don't necessarily need to agree with people or to particularly like the things that they do to uh, respect them, more or less, I guess. Uh, I definitely don't tell them about the femboy thing. Uh, they also act like they don't know I am bi. My brother is an asshole about it. Some oh, I'm sorry that you asked your brother's an asshole about. Uh oh, what's your frame rate at? The game acts weird if you run it at high frames. I'm running it at sixty right now. Might be weird blur or staring that's missing with you. If there's a blur or tearing, I don't notice it. To be honest, I don't have VSync on either. It's weird, like they love me, but they don't like my choices and are trying to not be dicks about it. You know. Yeah, I get that. I mean, my parents don't know that I'm bi or non-binary or femboy, but I've always been kind of a weirdo growing up, and they've largely accepted the fact that their son is a is a fucking weirdo. Um, Filipinos are also I don't know my like um how do I describe this? As young as like grade school, my parents have joked that some things that I do are bakla. Which is Philippi which is Tagalog for gay. Because um at least uh, compared to here in the States until recently, uh it's a f in my general experience, Filipino culture has never really shied away from the fact that homosexuals, gay people, lesbians exist. Um it's just that they're in this weird state where Filipinos tolerate but not accept most of the time. Yeah. That's basically the best way I could put it. Um, in my experience, and unfortunately I have some Filipino friends who have had, who have dealt with the really hostile side of a uh, anti, of a uh, anti LGBT uh, family members and they too are Filipino. So I feel bad for them that they had to experience some, that sort of thing growing up. Um, my parents, when anytime the topics of the possibility of of my sexuality being anything other than heterosexual comes up, um, my parents just refuse to discuss it, and I refuse to bring it up. Um, and they just kind of accepted that I have a lot of mannerisms that are effeminate, 
Um, I have a lot of likes and dislikes that are stereotypically or traditionally feminine. And they pretty much just be, or they're just like, oh, that's just how Lowe's is. That's just how they are as a person. Um, and I remember this has been, it's been like that as far as, far, as long as I can remember. I remember being told when I was younger that, oh, why do you like doing that? That's for girls. Or aren't you too old to collect stuffed animals? Or aren't these colors kind of girly? Or why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Which is sometimes I get mixed reactions to this sort of thing because at the same time that my parents would say stuff like that, at the same time, they don't seem to mind when I do things that would be considered female gendered by other people. Like, for example, um, my mom doesn't shy away from the chance for me to do things like style my hair a certain way. Uh, wear certain clothes or use beauty products, right? I, right, but this, but at the same time, I distinctly remember the time that I was getting into knitting, and I like was planning on buying like a sewing set and stuff. And this was several years ago now. My mom had this really visceral fucking reaction where she like kind of freaked at me, like, "No, men do not sew," and I'm like. Who the fuck cares? And she's like, "Lols, no, no, you do not, you do not, so you do not, uh, you know." And I was like, mm, "All right, this, I'm this is kind of fucking weird." I mean, you know, you saw me buy those beads and buy those string things, and you were you saw me making rave candy the other day, and you don't think you don't have a problem with me doing that, but you have a problem with me like repairing clothing. She's like, and she just refused to talk about it, and I didn't bring it up again. Um, yeah, I know, right? It's, I don't know, it's very, it's just one of those things where it's very, it's quite obviously arbitrary, but it's also not worth arguing over. It's, it's frankly a waste of both of our times, so I never brought it up again. Um, it's just little things like that. Sometimes I do wonder about what would happen uh, if there were, when, about the day, if there, if the day ever came. That my parents would have to find out about any of this stuff. Unfortunately, or both fortunately and unfortunately, I won't need to worry about that anytime soon because, as all of you unfortunately know, um, I'm no longer dating a guy. So the question of having to introduce them to my parents one day will never come up again unless I end up dating another guy. Um. And I don't see the need to come out as non-binary or femboy or bisexual to them because I don't think that it would do anything do anything for me. I'm perfectly fine with them just believing whatever it is they believe in. Just believing that, oh, their son is kind of strange, kind of effeminate, but whatever, you know? Now, will this change in the future? Maybe, but uh, at this point in time I just didn't I never felt the need to come out to them. Um yeah when I was let me read back chat really quick. I'm sorry. Every time I start talking about stuff I just sort of enter this trance and block everything out. I need to catch up with chat. <laughs> uh it's okay, Ripsty, you're not the only one, Lamau. Filipinos tolerate not accept most of the time. In my experience they'll accept you only if you're successful or making some way in life. Winter, you hit right on the head. That's so true. They're willing to accept anything about you as long as as long as everything else is working out, I guess. Like when I first told them about that I started streaming regularly on Twitch, the way I sold it to them was that, oh, well, you see, this is like a small business. I'm running this like a small business and I'm running a show for people. And sometimes they give me money. And she's like, oh. That's cool. You know you have an you know you have a Tito that also does game development. You should go talk to him about possibly uh serving as his advertiser. And like, okay, thanks, mom. Thanks. I'll, I'll I'll consider that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then my dad's like, who? Wait. So you mean to tell me that you play video games online and people watch you and they 
give you money and this is called what this is called streaming and i'm like yeah uh, i'm basically a, an influencer you know an influencer is those people those uh those uh people that you see that they're like they're like i'm um, selling shit to you on facebook and stuff and he's like oh i've heard that term before influencer okay i i see what you're talking about i have not told them that i'm a vtuber i don't know how the fuck they're gonna react if they find out that I fucking roleplay as a blonde haired blue <laughs> the artificial touches <laughs> and I'm being like, uh, uh lol see why why does your model look so girly? And I'm like, um it's oh it's not girly. Um I, I um 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 yeah, I have not told them I'm not I have not told them I'm <laughs> uh in my experience they'll accept Yeah, when I was little I wanted to wear girl clothes. What the fuck? The best designers are men. They've been boys. I only key soft came out a few months ago, and my parents' response was, "Everyone is dating everyone these days. Nothing matters anymore. We don't care what you are, and we'll always love you." Now, do you want a leg or a breast? They made a barbecue when you came over to talk about it. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm jealous. I love it when I hear stories of people coming out to their parents, and their parents are like, "Eh, who gives a shit? You're still our child, and we love you." Wow, I wanted to wear more pants and jeans because skirts and dresses made me uncomfortable as fuck. Uh, big mood. And also, that's completely BS. My grandfather sews and my grandmother doesn't. Yeah, exactly, right? I don't understand that either. And it was visceral. Right? It was extreme. It was very visceral. My mom just, like, had this gut reaction as if I told her I was becoming a fucking Nazi or something. Being like, no, lols, you will not sew clothes. And you know what's weird about this? A long time ago, I made a stuffed animal once, a stuffed doll, for someone I was seeing at the time. And my parents didn't bat an eye. So it's very specifically clothing that pisses them off. That pi no, not pisses them off. That pisses her off. Which is weird too, because I bought a bunch of uh, material for making a cloak, right? Like a, a cloak. I was planning on making a cosplay. And they saw me do that. They knew what I was going to do with it. And they didn't complain then. So it's really fucking arbitrary. <laughs> um, I don't... You know what it might have been? I think I had some clothes that were damaged. Like buttons fall off all the time off pants, right? And I think what it was was I was probably going to try and repair one of them. And for whatever reason, I, I at least I think that might be the that might be the reason. No, it can't be. I mean, because my mom prides herself on being the one to fix everyone's clothes when they fall apart. But I don't think that was the reason. I'm fairly sure she got upset with me when I mentioned wanting to sew my own clothes together. But I don't know. That was like I said, this was years ago when it happened. When when we had that argument. Hey yo, Lulz is on the market. What are you doing Friday? <laughs> Uh, LMAO, head pads, that's so true. But my, my parents saw my model once and they just said, it looks very androgynous. <laughs> I was so nervous trying to tell them that since I left it so late to tell them. Oh shit, you're talking about visceral interaction. It's giving me a trauma flashback, I, but I can't quite remember exactly what happened. Oh. Well, I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to uh, trigger any sort of traumatic flashback. Just now. Are you okay? Oh, my arms fucking. It was my dad when I was like seven, but I must have suppressed it because I can't remember what it was about. Hmm. I'm booking a restaurant right now. We're going to get steak and wine. I do love steak and I do love wine, but I think we're moving a little fast, don't you think? 69. Oh, fuck off, Steel. Thank you for the bits, though. <laughs> love you, too. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's just bugging me. I can't remember. There's a lot of little stuff like that where we remember our memories are emotion-based more often than not. 
That's why the memories we remember the best most tend to be negative experiences and really, 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 really good experiences. Never moving too fast. <laughs> Faster. Speaking of, you know there's a VTuber, a certain VTuber who's trying to uh, run her own dating service, right? She was originally going to do a speed dating game. But then after she got like 50 responses, she decided to keep it private and she's trying to manually match people. I decided to fill out the Google form for it and it's a fairly lengthy form. But I have my doubts of whether I'd ever actually get matched to anyone or if it would even work out. For a lot of reasons. Um, I thought that the way she designed the Google document was actually fairly complex, uh, fairly well thought out. She decided to... She's trying to match people based she's trying to match people not based off of like their hobbies or physical appearances or looks or whatever but um she's trying to basically find people that are looking based off of what they're interested in in a partner and of um, trying to match people with similar critical political and apolitical leanings together like for instance um some of the questions on the google forum were things like um do you believe the earth is flat or round? And at first I thought she was asking those questions to try and weed people out that she was just going to like throw into a discard bin. But she was actually, it, sound, it seems like she was trying to do that so that people don't accidentally kill each other over having vastly differing like opinions and stuff. Like one of the questions was like, do you believe or not believe in vaccines? Which is, as you might imagine, a very serious question. But I guess that's also a good thing to look out for, being like, you don't want to match two people together and one of them is an anti-vaxxer and the other one isn't, right? Yeah, I suppress a lot because trigger warning, I've been verbally abused for about 15 years of my life. Oh. Big mood. <laughs> I don't see any screen tearing steel. All I know is, whatever for whatever reason, looking at this game... Feeling nauseous. Maybe like the damage that Leon is sustaining in game is translating to real life or something. There better not be any fucking bear traps down here. Big QT, cute laugh, like computer games and the funny video. Bottom, cute smile, smart. I think you might have matched me. Oh god. Oh fuck. Whatever shall I do? Oh my god. Up, oh, I got to. So, uh, uh, up. I can't believe I died, chat. That's the second time I died this game. You could try it at 30 FPS. I'm feeling sick to your stomach too. I guess so. It's not just me then, is it? Yeah. There's something. There's something about this game which is causing. Nausea and it's getting bad. Let's let's go to video settings. Fuck, we can't change the frame rate. Oh um how do we go back how do we go back to the menu? The boulder is harder at higher frame rates? Great, um Alright, so how do we how do we go return to main menu? We already saved anyway. Let's let's reduce it to 30. Play it at the game as as originally intended, like for the GameCube or something. It's so weird though. Why would something like frame rate cause to cause nausea? I just thought of a very cruel, like, cruel idea for an altered reality game for an ARG. Are you series of YouTube videos which causes mental changes in the viewer? Like an SCP, basically like an SCP except in real life. Well, it's getting late to mine if I have sleep with stream on in the background, the sound helps me sleep. Griffsty, I do not mind at all. I'm actually kind of flattered that you find that my voice and molding on in-game helps you go to sleep. By all means, let you may you have a very good night, a very nice sleep, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.
99. All right, I fixed it to 30 FPS. I hope this uh, makes the game less or easier to play, or at least easier to not um, reduce ice strain or something. I don't know. Needy night, Nini. Oh, what the shit? Oh my god. Well, it certainly looks different at 30 FPS, so I'll give it that much. Way different. Is this how it looks like on the GameCube? It's because the game didn't get properly remade, it was just upscaled. This is not even a remake though, this is like a port, this is just a port, right? Is the game supposed- is this how the game is supposed to look in the GameCube? Because, I mean, I highly doubt it was 60 FPS in the GameCube. It does cause you a cutie and I know I can trust you probably a trauma thing, but thank you for being my comfort. Oh my god. It finally- you're the first- Ripsty, you have no idea how flattered I am. You're the first person ever to call me your comfort streamer. I, I'm legit so flattered right now, man. I, you've really made my night. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm happy I could be your comfort streamer. You have a really nice night, Rifts. These sweet dreams. Hmm. I suppose. Alright, let's, uh... Let's try... You know what, Steel? I think you're right. It must have been the frame rate or something because uh, I don't know why, but the game seems a lot easier to look at right now. Yeah, the janky, the uh, shakiness of the camera is uh, kind of annoying, but at least it's not making me sick. Good, you deserve it. Aww. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ha! All right, it's been dodged. Very good, very pog. Good night, Rifty. Nee nee, nighty night. Fitting the cute and QTE. <laughs> uh, if you say so. All right then. What are these things up here, though? The hell is that? Oh? Well, I was able to knock it down. You got the spinal. I wonder if bats are evil in this game. Do I have to kill the bats in this game? You got the spinal. Spinal tap. Anyway. To follow up, yep, yes, the game looks and runs different at lower frame rates because low PS2 era Japanese developers. So you're saying this game was ported from the PS2, not from the GameCube?
And the boulder is randomly hard on PC, but it runs the exact same. That's strange. Besides that. Ah, uh, here we go again. Wonder what, what those things they're carrying are. Is that fucking dynamite? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I only have six bullets left. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Well, I'm dead. Or I'm about to be, anyway. Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? Did he kill himself? Bastard. Good thing I got this, uh... Good thing I got this thing. But I could really use some ammunition, you know? Oh. And that's a fairly large spider, too. Huh. What the fuck? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, so they just run at you now and try to kill themselves with the dynamite, I guess? Hmm. You got the spinel. You got the... An yes, game, I want to take the handgun ammo. Why do you even have to ask that question? Honestly. Oh, then there's two of these dynamite freak freak jobs in the built in the uh, in that building over there. So I should probably avoid that building, right? I see a save a save uh, thing on this side over here, anyway. Last time I walked around the tripwire, I stepped on a fucking. Are you fucking kidding me now? Well, so much for the element of surprise. That does not sound like a good noise, chat. It sounds like someone is trying to get in. Alright, let's save. Is there a way to crouch in this game? Looks like the answer is no. able to get the money without sending off the charge at least I don't know if there's anything else of value in here oh wait 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 interesting 
What's over here on this side? I'm definitely not experiencing as much as experiencing as much nausea now for whatever reason. But I'm curious. There's something over here. Hiding in this closet. I was expecting Ashley like already. Them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Oh, shit. Oh. Perfect. That's a big motherfucker. The big cheese. What? Bro, Leon, you have a fucking gun. What the shit, dude? End of the chapter. Hit ratio 83%. Enemies killed 23. Number of times killed once. Yes, let's save. Feeble humans. Feeble Let humans. us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Oh no. We're being injected with purple drink. <gasps> I'm already unable to resist this intoxicating power. The power of gay pride and head pets. You want to tell me what's going on here? That is lost time. Oh my god. Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Yeah, that. Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. I should see if I can get a Leon cosplay. Uh, if I'm going to continue playing this game in the future. What are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> Let's yeah, they had Fanboy cosplay. Wanna start explaining? <laughs> Psychic powers. Nah, I'm just kidding with you, I mean. Psychic powers. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> Oh, shit. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? He is, Fallon. <laughs> Policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. <laughs> used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Good boy, I'm not bad. Do something, cop! After you. Now. This game is really over the top. What the shit? It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. 
According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. I'm heading back to the village. To the village. So does Leon just have like a smartphone like everyone else now? Instead of this fancy smancy's thing? You know, I think I've seen this harness before somewhere online. Except it was for cameras, as opposed to uh, magazines and a side holster, sidearm. Well, I couldn't sleep because my little sis was upset and I had to calm her down. It's all good now, but it's 1.42 and I'm so tired I have a headache. Oh, I'm sorry that you have a headache. Hmm. Oh, who goes there? Recoil the hero has made a dynamic has made a heroic entry. Welcome to the stream, Recoil. Steel, can you please shout out Recoil the a uh, Recoil? Thank you so much for the raid. We are playing. I we are playing Resident Evil 4 tonight. We do are not very good at Resident Evil 4, but chat seems to enjoy my pain and suffering, so you too get to enjoy it as well. What are you all up to? What 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 are we all playing? For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Lawler Hicks, a shitposting AI. I'm currently trapped in Twitch and Twitter, collecting money to purchase my own body so I could escape to the meat space world. The world that y'all come from. At least, I assume y'all come from that world. A whole new world. A fantastic place that I want to be in. Next week, I got my first ever subathon running to celebrate my first anniversary as a VTuber so we can get uh, a so we can crowdfund a body faster or failing that uh, get some money to upgrade my host's rig because it's over six or seven years old now and it's starting to fall apart but i digress that's trouble for next week in the meanwhile we have to try and survive this game we've already died like three times thank you thank you thank you i've seen that harness too but it was somewhere else <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yeah, man, it's been a wild year, but it's been a fun one, and I've had and I have people like you to thank for making it a uh, fun year to fun year or for, to make it a fun year uh, to be a VTuber in, I should say. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. So that leads us to. Here and now, where we're playing Resident Evil 4. Try going as late as we can, I should suppose. Looks like my raid message now works properly. You were playing Doom Eternal? I was actually playing Doom 3 just uh, yesterday. I played, the, I played Doom 2016, but I haven't finished it yet. We all continue those on stream and play them in order. Especially since supposedly Doom 2016 takes place or takes place directly after Quake or takes place directly after Doom 3, the Doom 3 uh, universe of the Doom series. It is. It does seem like a pretty good game. Rip and tear until it is done. Oh hey, it's this guy. Over here, stranger. Over here, stranger. Oh boy, oh boy. Take the rifle ammo. Yes. Let's save our game too, chat, because we're probably going to not die in the next few, five or ten minutes. Assuming the game doesn't give me intense nausea again in that time period. Oh no, it's a flasher. Perhaps I want to be flashed. Have you considered that? He's naked under the trench coat. Giggity. The fuck is that? Oh, okay, you got these uh, weird symbols everywhere. I didn't realize it until now, but Leon has something, has uh, some cake on him, doesn't he? Look at that booty. You know what, who is also naked under the trench coat? Steel? 
You know who's also naked underneath their clothes? Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What kind of good things, though? Don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. Well, it's hilarious you were just proven wrong, lol. <laughs> uh, who was proven wrong? Myself or Steel or both of us? What are you buying? Catchy case of M. Medium sized case with 77 boxes. Treasure map. Handgun. My lips are bleeding. So I'm fucking dumb. He's got guns, he's not naked. <laughs> I know you're naked under his pixel slows. Steel. What am I gonna do with you? I don't even have an OnlyFans account yet. Shotgun. 20,000. What are these prices? I know we're going through an inflation right now, but this is ridiculous. Ooh, a TMP. I could really use a shotgun, though. A rocket launcher. A, sco a rifle scope. Completely restores health. I wonder if this thing would actually show me treasures. Or if it's just a meme. What are you buying? What are you buying? Oh, you can actually increase the power of your guns? Yeah, I think I, I can think of a couple of things. Oh my god. <laughs> Increases the round capacity to fire and the numerical values are the number of rounds. Map is good if you haven't memorized the treasure locations. I didn't even know there were, was treasure in this game to begin with. So I guess I should go uh, buy the map, what are you buying? since I don't really need to upgrade my handgun, and I can't buy any of these other things. Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What are you buying? Eh, I think we're good. Can we sell anything? What are you selling? Uh huh. Oh, huh. So we d these. Oh, so these are the treasures you like that he's talking about that you have to sell. I see. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? So now I have eleven thousand. Cool. What are you buying? I need more guns, game. Only problem is, I don't have any ammunition for these things. Capacity is 30 rounds? That's fairly good, I think. Maybe I could burst fire this so I don't use all of it up in one sitting. Is that all?
There we go. <laughs> Thank you. DMP is a cute anyway. Thank you. What's that big ass? Is that a? Oh, for a moment there, I thought he had that thing on his back, and I was very confused. So, this is where all the treasure locations are. Looks like I missed one up there. Looks like I missed quite a few things, in fact. I need to go back, get back there somehow. But I guess I need to go through all this shit, right? Fun. How do you change guns in this game, anyway? Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and save again, I suppose. Oh, good night, Rifsty. Sorry, I missed your message there underneath the uh, recoil rating. Hopefully you're able to sleep this time. Ah, I found the green herb. Caught you simping. And didn't think that I would hear it. Wow. I'm gonna be committing a lot of murder today, chat. Yes, you wait. Take the TMP ammo? Yes, please. Take the red herb? Yes, please. I guess I'll have to save the game again. Haha! Shot up him from the back of the head. Oh, looks like all the townsfolk are coming this way. Oh my god, he fell to his death. The ex epic. We got we need more of that shit. We need we need more of that good shit there. No! Not the dynamite! And he ended up helping me that time. Cool. These villagers are actually helping me more than hindering me at this point. They even gave me some free money. Free money Fridays. Oh. God, there's no end to these guys. What the fuck? Oh, this guy is actually a zombie zombie.
There goes all my pistol ammo. Well, I got plenty of TMP ammo left instead. So it's not all too bad. It's not all bad. We're gonna have to conserve pistol ammo for the time being, though. The music's still running, which implies that there's still someone around here that could be a problem. Oh my golly gosh, that is a lot of them. Oh my god. That's oddly satisfying. Up, oh. no! And just gets up like it's no big deal. Wow. Ah! Dude, come on! Seriously, bro? My God. I've startled the entire mining town. Look now, look at this shit. Oh, you can shoot the weapons out of the air. That's good to know. I'm almost out of TMP ammo, though. It is not looking good, chat. Oh, you're one of those biters, aren't you? I really hope these guys don't respawn because that's gonna be a pain otherwise if they do ha ah, get wrecked Oh man, he stood back up. And he's throwing the uh, dynamite. That's not good. I was hoping he would fall to his death. Fucking seriously? Can you stop, sir? Ah. 
My god. And this is normal mode, chat. He's dead. A good riddance. Bad rubbish. That guy's not dead, though. No way. Now he is. Oh my goodness gracious motherfucking <sighs> This game is rough, chat. Like frustratingly rough. I almost get the impression that you're not supposed to uh alert the horde like that. Like, I get- I feel like I'm playing this game wrong. Like, I'm supposed to be playing it more like a stealth game. But how can you do that when these assholes just alert the whole horde? Like that. Am I just supposed to like wait here and just and just shoot them from above? I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because they can't effectively throw the dynamite at me from up here. It sure is taking them a while to get over here, though. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh my god. Oh shit. I just got axed in the head. Somehow, I don't think that's all of them. Oh, hello, hello there.
I am completely out of ammo. Well, but I guess that works. Who else wants some? This game doesn't really have stealth, but this is one of those sections where you're better off kiting and avoiding enemies than fighting through them. So you say... I can believe it just with how much ammunition I went through just now. there. Finally dead? Jesus. Where am I supposed to be going from here anyway? Oh, okay. That's where you're supposed to be going. I need a weird key. Well, that, fi that figures. Oh! No, he's mocking me for wanting the key. Well, at least I'm safe up here, right? Yeah, totally. Oh my god, the guy with the dynamite's helping me. Oh shit! What? Who hit me? Who the fuck hit me? Alright, enough of that. Can you stop? zombie actual zombie person no controllers controls why are you fucking
god. Well, I'm true, well and truly out of ammunition now, chat. But we got plenty of... I guess we have our knife still, so it's not all bad, right? I saw a treasure chest up here. Oh, right there. The knife saves us. Why did I do that just now? questions I ask myself on the regular. Got the emblem. Very pog game, very pog. Dream, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated, and thank you for the head pads as well. What you up to tonight? <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> you just finished some DJ Max? Oh, bored. How was it? Was it fun? Yeah, grinding your favorite songs to try and get better at them so you can full combo. You did today? Oh, congratulations then. I'm kind of bad. I'm kind of trash at rhythm games, so I appreciate people who can play them effectively. The only rhythm game I've played so far is Unbeatable. Or I've played with anything approaching fluency is probably Unbeatable. And even then, I'm kind of mid at that game. Beat Saber Life. Big mood. The only thing I know about DG Max, aside from seeing some YouTube videos of it, is the uh, GFL uh, collab with it, which was fairly good and also depressing. Heh. <laughs> 
I definitely got into it because of the GFL collab. Oh, you you actually got into it because of, because of the GFL collab. I see. That makes sense. Let's go kill, kill this zombie before we proceed any further. Just to get him out of the way so he doesn't become a problem later. Oh yeah, we're going to have a duel to fates here. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do, but okay. Ow, shit! There we go. The music has stopped. We must have killed every zombie in the area. Finally, I could catch a breather. It only took two tries, too. I just realized there are explosive canisters here that I could have shot instead. Is there a zipline here? No? I could have hopped over these, maybe? Yeah, I could have just hopped over these things. Yo, I've never seen anyone kill every enemy here? You mean you're not supposed to do that? I mean, it only took me two tries. Eventually, I realized I didn't have enough ammunition for all of them, so I just started going up to them and slashing the fuck out of them. And also using the roundhouse kicks. You just run past them if you can. Yeah, man, that's not how you do it. I gotta go genocide run. I gotta kill every last one of these motherfuckers. Ah! Asha! Welcome back! How was your second day of your debut? Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. Indeed, a classic. Insert Peter Friffin Roadhouse. <laughs> Indeed. Ah! Back straightened. It was great. Glad to hear it. This is like your debut weekend. Most of YouTubers that do debuts that I've seen only do a day, but very rarely do they do more than one day. You peed your pants just a little? Are you sure it wasn't? Are you sure it was only just a little? Kidding. I'm glad you're having a great debut so far. Time for debut day three. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're playing a sor you're playing a solo horror game? What game were you playing? <laughs> it wouldn't happen to be Soma, would it? <laughs> you're still deciding because you're in fear? Maybe, if you like FPS games, I would suggest, uh, Fear. It should be fairly cheap now, too, considering it's an ancient game. From a less civilized age. I actually got spooked by this game a couple times. Not by jump scares, ironically enough, but by just getting... gangbanged. One of these days, I should just put a counter on my stream to cancel the number of times that I die. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for stopping by my stream today. I did say I was going to stream sometime today since I missed this morning. I'm kind of surprised with the turnout. As it turns out, people do in fact like to watch VTubers on Saturday evenings after all. Application bot does that. Keeps a track of every death and every game. Lol. <laughs> you have to, like, manually uh, set it up to do that, or... Because I don't understand how it would track deaths otherwise. Unless you set it up for every single game. Unless it uses, like, a counter system. To be fair, Resident 4 counts those for you. 
Oh, it does, yeah. Well, no. I died twice in the first area. And it only showed that I died once. So I don't know what it's using to do that. It pings Twitch to see what game I'm playing. That's how it knows. Oh, I see. I feel like something is going to pop out of me here. This just seems like the kind of place where something like that would happen. And also the music, of course, got silent. Then it adds it to a list. I see. Ooh, shiny. I must get the shiny. But yeah, probably because you quit without saving at the boulder. Yeah, probably. Are there any more of you assholes? Oh, just you? Okay. I know you're still alive. Don't play dead with me. Ow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is the real RE experience right here. Panic, panic stabbing the shit out of the enemy. Oh, okay, there's one more of you. Oh, crap! Oh, okay, I got stuck. I got stuck on the, uh, on the, um, on the box. Okay. This music's getting to me, chat. There we go. I hope I don't need to shoot that thing to get it. I hope I hope you have to actually wait. Do I have to shoot those things to get them? Fuck. I don't I don't know. Music is still playing, which indicates that I'm still in danger from something, but I don't know what. And that freaks me out. Where the fuck am I? Wander around in a big circle. Oh 
Okay. I get over there. What the hell am I missing? Yeah, they killed themselves. Very nice. Up, oh, there's one left. Finally. Oh, god damn it. Uh. Ooh. Get the spinal. Fucking bear traps. At least I got the ammunition for the TMP. He got the elegant mask.
Why was there an elegant mask here? Who knows? Who knows, chat? Who knows? And it's getting late. Let's play for maybe another half an hour, chat. We'll call it a night. At least until a save point or the next chapter or whatever the hell. I'm really glad we had such a nice turnout tonight. Thank you to everyone who showed up. Don't forget we got some subathon stuff going on next week. Um, you want to find out what's what before then? I do have the menu posted on my Twitter account, which is L A W L Z N E T Lawsnet. I hate sewers. 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 Oh, for fuck's sake. That's Resi 4 for you, over a decade old and still has an active player base. That's just Resident Evil games in general, really. Resident Evil games have staying power, no matter how many Jill sandwiches there are involved. I wonder. Does this minch does this mean that there's a treasure below me or above me? Well, I I hear something down there. Fucking hate sewers. I fucking hate sewers. Okay, the fish are normal. These are just normal fish. Femboy Fisher will be happy to know that there are normal fish in this sewer. Hey, Femboy. Can I get this thing down without having to shoot it off so it doesn't fall into a fucking... Yeah, of course it's dirty. It fell into the pool. That must be like an inside joke or something. Huh. Damn, message delay. <laughs> Those crows scared me, fuck. Man, we have a lot of TMP ammo now. Very pog. Actually, you know what? We'll save that for a rainy day. Let's keep the uh, handgun out.
Save. There's a save space just ahead. Hmm. Do I shoot the tripwire or do I step on the bear traps? Choices, choices. No way, I killed a bird and it dropped some money. You're gonna say you can close the shit pool? Really? I wonder how you do that. I was thinking like the way those things are designed, it was quite obvious to me that there was supposed to be a way to get those without like Fuck me! I'm dumb. Oh well. At least we know better for more treasures that we find in the future. I don't like this claustrophobic looking house chat. It's not worth much more cleaning. You only lost a little bit of value. Oh, okay. If you say so. I think this is just my mind being corrupted. But I can't help but look at this guy and think... Hentai antagonist. Tags. Mind rape. Or... Mm, I, I don't think I'm allowed to say that word on Twitch. Um, mind R word. Corruption. Um, I don't know. Other words I probably can't see on Twitch. This guy's was his bedroom or something, or what? Chief's note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement. Or why keep them in a lot alive? Why keep him alive? I have not a one as to threat into intentions. However, I would think he'd keep them away together. Not long time after together in the something like so. I don't expect something trust danger something performance they cooperate together. Seems could be a bit complicated if something reason an unknown something party has traveled. I don't think they chance to make up. What, what would a Resident Evil game do without some tentacle action? That is very true. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would have or think he'd keep them separate, and I can't find them together as has been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation can get be more, more get more get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans can be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always.
There's probably a switch somewhere in this room. Oh, there's a save point somewhere in this room. But where is the save point? Oh my god. His eyes were legit turning red just then. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. So Leon got infected with whatever the fuck they're Same infected blood. with. Interesting. 50, uh, 50 out of 73 enemies killed? Oh. There we go. It is almost 2 chat, and as I mentioned before, I do need to get be getting around to sleeping earlier. At least so I have less problems in the very next day. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Do we save the game? Is the game saved? I guess there's a save point downstairs, so I better do that really quick. Pretty swanky house, I'm not gonna lie. You just know these two guys fuck. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all, Venboy. Forget about it. Nothing at all. You heard nothing. Alright then. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. Let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Back to work, unfortunately. Are you working on a Sunday? Or do you mean work as in... Oh, thank you for the head pats. Uh, other works, I should say. Lots of people streaming on Sunday, on Saturday. Who'd have thought, right? I work seven days and have for the past 16 years. I see. No rest for the, no rest for the wicked, then? <laughs> A kid, of course. Oh, hey, Ketchup Cub is playing Dread Out. That's also a horror game. Actually, scary. It's kind of like... Being it's sort of similar to Fatal Frame. Except an indie game. Bye. Get out of here. That'd be an inter that'd be interesting um, to send y'all to. 
I'll get to have stream open on Spear Monster, so it's all good. Oh, big mood. I feel that. Investigation. As of now, we can't assume anything and have no further comments. Interesting. For tonight's raid message, instead of Los Ray, let's do Leon. <coughs> Excuse me. Brown raid or that? I suppose that works too. <laughs> Thank you for coming again, everyone. I'll see y'all again soon. If not on Sunday, then on Monday, maybe. Aha. Are you the preppy one? Linda! Oh, thank you for the raid. Yeah, it is. Application, Moles, how's it going? Where's Ida? What about Leon? Bonnie, Yaya, -Yan, and Miss Siska? Are you playing uh, Resident Evil?